FF91AF, a color code for a seemingly innocent shade of pink. It may look like the wall of an ugly children's bedroom with the Barbie logo color, but what if I told you that years of research engineered this color to be quote-unquote calming, but ended up causing prison riots and mass panic? Hi, my name is B, and I like telling people facts with absolutely no use. And today we're going to be talking about the Baker Miller Pink Effect. Colors can have a huge effect on your mood, way more than you think. For example, have you ever noticed that many restaurants have a lot of red? This is because researchers found that red is an appetite stimulant, so they're making you hungrier so you'll eat more of their food without even knowing. On the contrary, blue has been found to suppress your appetite. Weird, right? Everywhere you go from restaurants to furniture stores, every color you see may be affecting your desire to buy. But today we'll be talking about one instance that led prisons across the U.S. to drop everything and paint their walls pink. In the 1960s, researcher Alexander Swash created a color that he claimed could, quote, reduce the physical strength and aggressive tendencies of male inmates. Now I don't know about you, but I would say that this is a very old claim. How was he led to believe this? He would have subjects stare at a pink piece of paper and try to move their arms. Apparently, when looking at the pink, they were less resistant to having their arms moved. That's pretty cool in all honesty, but reducing prison inmates' strength seems like a stretch to me. He named this color Baker Miller Pink after two of his co-experimenters, Gene Baker and Ron Miller. Baker and Miller were officers, and they were so thrilled with his discovery that they painted their holding cells with this pink. Now, Baker and Miller would not shut up about this pink, and the word spread. This caused other holding units, such as psychiatric units, to begin painting their holding areas Baker Miller Pink too. This seems absolutely amazing, right? Well, if it was this great, I would not be foreshadowing how weak this claim is. Schwash went back and redid his test and found absolutely no changes in aggressiveness. It turns out that this color does absolutely nothing. Oh, but that would be an easy ending, right? Well, joke's on you. There's more! Schwash actually began to find evidence that this color would make people more aggressive than to begin with. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, look at this color. Imagine this is all you see every single day, bro. <laughs> I sound like Jake Paul! <laughs> We're still not exactly sure why this is, but researchers are guessing it's partially due to the fact that pink is viewed in society as a feminine color. And since this was mostly put in prisons, obviously these men were gonna be pissed. In interviews, the men described it as, quote, being held in a little girl's bedroom, and described it as degrading. I also heard that there were prison riots because of this color, but I can't find any evidence to support this, so take it with a grain of salt. A very similar example of this is a color known as Dusty Rose, that a coach once tried to put in an opposing team's locker rooms to make them more calm and therefore play less aggressive. But, again, pink makes people <coughs> sensitive men more aggressive, so it actually fired up the team more. So is there any pink that actually does calm people? Well, psychologist Daniela Spaeth has made her own pink called Cool Down Pink and tested it on 10 prisons. So far, this pink has actually made more people calm, and this pink may be used in more places such as schools and airports, among other places. Color-based psychology has certainly come a long way, but clearly still needs to have some work done. Now, go tell your friends about this. Until next time, be sure to blab their ears off with fun but very useless information.